that plastic that yeah there's a plastic like kelp yeah it's stuck right down there with the kelp because there's so much debris here what we wanted to do was trawl it to see what the micro debris is like in this area our net is similar to a manta ray it's called a manta trawl it has a wide mouth a couple of wings on it and it's going to capture any debris that's floating on the surface of the ocean we're right in the middle of a debris window right now plastic doesn't biodegrade but it photodegrades right yeah the ultraviolet rays from the sun embrittle it and so it doesn't take a lot of energy to crack it and break it into little chips So many things yeah. are just the part that you need to get into the food. I mean, look at that, you called it. Captain Moore calls plastic the lubricant of globalization because it's a vapor and moisture barrier that enables a safe shipment of products all over the globe. Trouble is, those same qualities make it virtually indestructible, lasting 500 to 1,000 years. So when it finds its way into the oceans, it's there to stay. And if it's landed in the waters off California, it will likely drift along ocean currents to the vortex. Here we have a bottle cap. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's already slimy from the algae growing on it. Yep. We want to deploy a tracking device for this debris. And that's what your mission is, is to track this debris to its final destination. If you choose to accept this mission. <laughs> well, if you don't, you'll self-destruct, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready when you are. After trawling the coastal waters for a debris sample, the next task is to track its journey to the vortex. The Algida has a solar-powered tracking buoy for this job. Here you go. It is attached to drift nets and will float alongside the long trails of trash 500 miles out to the vortex. Okay, they're attaching the buoy now to a drift net that's out there. Airborne Technologies in Alaska will be able to follow the track of that net as it migrates around the vortex and eventually find it resting with other similar nets and go out and pick them up.